So I have already prepared the MIDI tracks for the different parts of the sound that I'm probably gonna need. And I'm gonna start with um, the transient. This is pretty much about creating something like a kick drum or maybe even a snare drum. Um, let's just start with a sine wave here and then just pretty much do the same uh, that we would do for creating a kick drum. So let's just use LFO1 on the pitch of the first oscillator and just draw in a curve that somewhat resembles the um, pitch envelope of, of a kick drum. Also pitch this down. Set this to envelope mode. Go to the effects section and put on some distortion. Also some EQ here. Compress it with the multiband compressor. Gives it this nice little click at the start. And then start with the next sound. So for movement one, I want some sort of tremolo effect. So let's actually use LFO2 and map this to the level of oscillator 1 and do the same with oscillator 2 here. I set this to seconds. I also want the pitch to change, so I'm going to use LFO1 for this. Map LFO1 to the global voice transpose here. Maybe start around two octaves. Set this to envelope mode. Maybe pitch these down a bit. And I also want LFO1 to modulate the frequency of LFO2. So let's do this in here as well. LFO1 and frequency of LFO2. <laughs> then let's play around with these a bit. Change the voice. Sine wave. Some distortion. Some EQ. Some reverb. So let's leave it at that and then just copy this one over to move into. Play around with the LFO here. Maybe also make this a bit longer. So the next layer will be some sort of noise layer. Start with the noise here. So just uh, use any wave you want and push that and the noise into a distortion. Then just play around with any kind of modulation you want. I'll probably go for the pitch here. And I'll sort of soften it with uh, different effects here. So first reverb, definitely some chorus as well. EQ this a bit. the second noise. Also just copy this over here. Maybe use some sort of filter movement here. That's okay. And now for the last layer we're gonna use just a sine wave and create a very simple downer. Level one, add it to the pitch of this, set it to envelope mode and just pitch it down. So now that we have all of this, we are just gonna create a bunch of audio tracks for this and just bounce all of these one by one. I'm gonna shorten everything here quite a bit. So now it's just uh, playing around with the audio actually. What always helps with giving stuff more impact is if you actually have something in front of the initial hit. So um, we are just gonna create some reverse elements. Let's just take this one and reverse it and fade it in, make it short and play around with the pitch. You can always get interesting stuff with the texture mode here. Do the same with this one. The noise layers could be interesting too. Instead of using a sidechain compressor, I'm just manually drawing in the fades here. I'll play around with the fade out. Maybe EQ it a bit. Push it into the soft clip here. If you want, you can use a limiter at the end. 